controversial new study might keep you up at night. It suggests that taking Ambien, Lunesta, or other prescription sleep aids may actually dramatically increase your risk of death. The study also found that people taking these pills are more likely to be diagnosed with cancer. With us now is Dr. Carl Bazil, director of Columbia University's Comprehensive Epilepsy and Sleep Center. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, if this is true, it's alarming. Uh, it's very that alarming. There's a risk of cancer from taking things that lots of people have considered safe. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a very eye-opening study, but we don't really know what's going on. I think that there's no question that sleeping pills are overprescribed. I think that's one thing that'll come out of this. But why the association is there, we don't know. Do, and do, do we know from the study whether or not there's actually a direct correlation or, or is it the pill that, that's causing these increase in risk or is that not clear? Well, really what it shows is if you get a prescription for sleeping pills, for whatever reason, you have an increased risk of death. So what we don't know is, is it because you have insomnia and that has an increased risk of death? Do you have other sleeping problems? Maybe you're getting misdiagnosed with insomnia and that can cause health problems. There's a lot of unknowns, but it is a little bit frightening. Well, in fact, it's frightening because they compare it to the risk of smoking. Well, I think that's a little bit over the top. Um, that they're being over the top. Yeah, I mean, we don't know that there's a direct association yet. It's not necessarily the pill that's causing the problem. Uh, I think there is an association that they saw with higher doses, mm -hmm. and you can certainly see that. If you're overusing sleeping pills, you're going to be drowsy, you might be driving with it, you have other kinds of accidents, and that's clearly a problem that should be dealt with. So this appeared in a journal. I mean, when you were in a doctor and a physician and, and look at sleeping disorder, when you see a study like this, what do you do? Do you vet it? Do you analyze it? Do you accept the findings, or what do you do? Well, you read it carefully and try and figure out what it means. Like I said, there is an association there, and in my mind, I want to know what that association is. That's going to take more work to figure out, as I said, is it the sleeping pills themselves? Yeah. I think that's probably an oversimplification. Have you done that yet? Uh, yes, I looked at the study. The, the primary thing that I would want to know is, is there an association with sleep deprivation or sleep loss from yeah. any cause and death. And I think that's probably yeah, or true. Or sleep apnea, for example. Well, that's a very good point because right. I think that sleep apnea is often misdiagnosed and there's no question that that carries a higher risk of I mean, death. People have sleep apnea but don't, is not diagnosed or they are diagnosed as having sleep apnea when they have something else? Well, they may go to their doctor and say, look, I'm really sleepy. Uh, they don't really go through it in a systematic way. They actually have sleep apnea. They just get a sleeping pill. And in the case of one of the pills they reported, which is Restoril, it's like Valium, that'll actually make sleep apnea worse. I'm hoping you can give us a yes or no because we're very tight on time. For people who are taking sleeping pills, do they need to be worried? Well, I think you always need to weigh the risks versus the benefits. Mm -hmm. And uh, if there are other ways to help with your sleep other than taking pills, that's often a better solution. And obviously have that discussion with your doctor. Doctor, thanks for being with us today. Pleasure.